Welcome to the last file of the Epic Mickey Files. We have covered many forgotten Disney characters from many different forms of entertainment, but this one may be the ultimate forgotten Disney character. If it hasn't been for him, the Walt Disney Company would never be the same. This is Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Now, Oswald's story all began in 1927, after Walt Disney was done with Alice's comedies. He signed a contract to Universal Studios head Carl Lamel to make a cartoon series for Charles Mintz. So Walt talked with his partner at the time, Uwe Iwerks, and created Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, and the first cartoon they made was Poor Papa. When they showed it to the heads of Universal Studios, they rejected it because they didn't like the production quality of the cartoon and find that Oswald seems pretty old. So they went to make another short called Trolley Troubles with a new, younger Oswald. They liked it, and that was the start of the Lucky Rabbit. As time would move on, Oswald would become a star. Until the spring of 1928. When Walt wanted to increase the budget of the Oswald cartoons, he went to ask Charles Mintz. What he got was a counteroffer. One that's not like what Walt wanted. Mintz's offer was a 20% budget cut on the Oswald shorts, and what's worse, Mintz was the one who owned the character, and not Walt, and he already signed many of Walt's animators on his new contract, except for Oob Iwerks and Les Clark who was always on Walt's side. Pretty much, it all ended with Walt refusing the offer. While they were finishing the first season of Oswald, Disney, Iwerks, and Clark created their own character by altering Oswald's looks a bit, and the rest was history with their new character, Mickey Mouse. It's at about this point here where many people believe that Oswald had never appeared in a cartoon ever since Walt let him go. But what those people didn't know is that even without Walt, Oswald was still appearing in cartoons. After Walt was gone, Mintz took full control of Oswald with Disney's former animators, but Carl Lamel wasn't happy with his move on Disney, so he kicked him out and Oswald is working for Universal. After that, Carl went to hire a new animator at the time to work on the Oswald cartoons called Walter Lance. You may remember him more as the creator of Andy Panda, Chili Willy, and Woody Woodpecker. He talked with Walt Disney if he can make the Oswald cartoons. Disney said he was cool with it, and they both became the best of friends. Walt even let Lance use Pete for those cartoons, and Hortensia as well which her name was changed to Kitty in the Lance cartoons. Back to Oswald, when Lance was taking over in 1929, Oswald got a new makeover by adding more clothing and even got a new quote-unquote cute face. In 1935, he got yet another makeover, but this time, the changes were bigger. This new, more realistic model was taken directly off another bunny in a different Lance cartoon, Fox and the Rabbit. On the subject of the voice of Oswald, he doesn't really have a definitive voice actor. Animators would take turns to voice Oswald in each episode. There were a few well-known names that did the voice as well, like Mickey Rooney and June Foray. Oswald would keep on appearing in cartoons under Lance's name until in 1943 with the Egg Cracker Suite, the last Oswald cartoon, and his final appearance in a cartoon on the Woody Woodpecker Polka in 1951. Ever since then, Oswald only made appearances in comic books around the 40s and 60s, but he never appeared on screen or was actually popular ever again. Until February 2006, when Bob Iger was named the new CEO of the Walt Disney Company, his first mission that he wanted to do was to get Oswald back to its owners. So he talked with NBC and gave him a deal. 
In exchange for sportscaster Al Michaels, Disney would get the rights to Oswald and the original cartoons that Disney and Iwerks made at the time. After the exchange, they started to sell merchandising of Oswald, including a DVD of all the Oswald cartoons as part of the Walt Disney Treasure series. Now I want you to take a look at this never before seen picture here that Walt Disney made. This is a letter that Walt sent to Carl Lamel to remember the times when he was working for him with the Lucky Rabbit. He even included a sketch of both Mickey Mouse and Oswald, possibly the only picture in existence featuring both these characters together made by Walt himself. Ever since 1943, Oswald never had a big role, but finally, in Epic Mickey, his big break has finally arrived. Originally, not only was Oswald one of the main villains of the game, but he was supposed to team up with the Blot to turn into what was called the Storm Blot in order to steal Mickey's heart. But as production would move on, he would downgrade his evilness from being just one of the main villains, then into an anti-hero, then pretty much into one of the main protagonists. In the game, other than Mickey, Oswald is the main character. He's the half-brother of Mickey, and he's voiced by Frank Welker. Oh, no, 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 wait, I'm sorry. I meant Frank Welker does the noises for Oswald. Before the Thinner Disaster, he was the first inhabitant of the Wasteland, so he created this world for the Forgotten with the help of the Mad Doctor. The Rabbit wasn't truly happy, though, he looked at Mickey's fame with disgust, because he thinks that Mickey's living the life that he should be living. He was named the leader of the world since he made it, and he lived with his girl Hortensia along with his 420 kids. Wow, it's either he truly is a rabbit, or this guy doesn't even know what does protection mean. Anyways, after the thinner disaster, not only Oswald lost his power over the wasteland, but Hortensia as well, and has to live in Mickey Junk Mountain because of his hatred over the mouse. When Mickey does arrive, as you go on, Oswald starts to know Mickey more and acts nicer to him, thinking that it would be what Hortensia want. This would continue to appear more until the end, where they become friends, and perhaps more, perhaps even brothers. And that's all there is to the Epic Mickey Files. I hope you enjoyed this look on Disney's less popular creations. But the question is, will we enter the files again? Well, that depends. <laughs>